The visitation is the visit of Mary to Elizabeth as recorded in the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 1 verses 39–56, it is also the name of a Christian feast day commemorating this visit, celebrated on 31 May in the West the 2nd of July in calendars of the 1263–1969 period, and in the modern regional calendar of some countries whose bishops' conferences wanted to retain the original date, notably Germany and Slovakia and 30 March among Eastern Christians. Narrative Mary visits her relative Elizabeth, they are both pregnant, Mary with Jesus, and Elizabeth with John the Baptist. Mary left Nazareth immediately after the Annunciation and went, "...into the hill country less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 into a city of Judah." Luke chapter 1 verse 39 to attend to her cousin Luke chapter 1 verse 36 Elizabeth There are several possibilities as to exactly which city this was including Hebron south of Jerusalem and Ein Kerem The journey from Nazareth to Hebron is about 130 kilometers 81 miles in a direct line probably up to half as far again by road depending on the route taken Elizabeth was in the 6th month before Mary came Luke chapter 1 verse 36 Mary stayed three months, and most scholars hold she stayed for the birth of John. Given the prevailing cultural traditions and needs for security etc., it is probable that Joseph accompanied Mary to Judah then returned to Nazareth, and came again after three months to take his wife home. The apparition of the angel, mentioned in Matthew 1 verses 19–25, may have taken place then to end the tormenting doubts of Joseph regarding Mary's maternity, in the Gospel of Luke, the author. S accounts of the Annunciation and Visitation are constructed using eight points of literary parallelism to compare Mary to the Ark of the Covenant. In Catholicism, it is held that the purpose of this visit was to bring divine grace to both Elizabeth and her unborn child. Even though he was still in his mother's womb, John became aware of the presence of Christ, and leapt for joy as he was cleansed from original sin and filled with divine grace. Elizabeth also responded and recognized the presence of Jesus, and thus Mary exercised her function as mediatrix between God and man for the first time. And she Elizabeth spoke out with a loud voice, and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For, lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leapt in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Luke chapter 1 verses 42 to 45. In response to Elizabeth, Mary proclaims the Magnificat, "My soul doth magnify the Lord." Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55. The word "blessed" is rendered in Greek not by the word "makarios," but as "evlogimeni." Which is the feminine second person singular, used only this once in the New Testament. Its masculine third person singular counterpart, Evlogimenos, is used only for Jesus and only on this occasion and when he was welcomed into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday with, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The masculine, mixed gender third person plural, Evlogimenoi, is used by Jesus only when referring to the righteous who are to be raised to life in the Last Judgment. Topic Feast. Topic Topic Western Christianity. Topic the theme of the Feast of the Visitation centers on Mary responding to the prompting of the Holy Spirit to set out on a mission of charity. This feast is of medieval origin. It was kept by the Order of Friars Minor before 1263 when St. Bonaventure recommended it and the Franciscan chapter adopted it, and the Franciscan breviary spread it to many churches. In 1389 Pope Urban VI, hoping thereby to obtain an end to the Great Western Schism, inserted it in the Roman calendar, for celebration on 2 July. In the Tridentine calendar, it was a double. When that missal of Pope Pius V was replaced by that of Pope Clement VIII in 1604, the visitation became a double of the second class, or, as it would be called from 1960 by Pope John XXIII's reform, a second class feast. It continued to be assigned to 2 July, the day after the end of the octave following the feast of the birth of John the Baptist, who was still in his mother's womb at the time of the visitation. 
The 1969 revision of the calendar moved it to the 31st of May. Between the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, the 25th of March, and that of the Nativity of Saint John the Baptist, the 24th of June, so that it would harmonize better with the gospel story. The Catholic Church in Germany, together with the Lutheran Church, has, with the consent of the Holy See, kept the 2nd of July date as a national variation of the general Roman calendar. Similarly, the Catholic Church in Slovakia has also retained the original date, because of an important national pilgrimage to the Basilica of the Visitation in the town of Levoka that has been held in the first weekend of July since the 13th century. The 2nd of July is observed also by traditionalist Catholics who use a pre-1970 calendar, and by Anglicans who use the 1662 Book of Common Prayer in some Anglican traditions it is merely a commemoration rather than a feast day. In the Roman Rite of the Catholic Church, the Visitation is the second joyful mystery of the Rosary. <laughs> Eastern Christianity the celebration of a feast day commemorating this event in the Eastern Orthodox Church is of relatively recent origin, dating only to the 19th century. The impetus to establish a feast day in the liturgical calendar of the Orthodox Church, and the composition of a service to be included in the Menion, were the work of Archimandrite Antonin Kapustin head of the Russian Orthodox Ecclesiastical Mission in Jerusalem. The Gornai Convent in Jerusalem, which was built on the traditional site of the meeting of the Theotokos Virgin Mary and Saint Elizabeth, celebrates this feast on the 30th of March. Julian calendar the 30th of March corresponds until 2099 to Gregorian calendar the 12th of April. If the 30th of March falls between Lazarus Saturday and Pascha Easter, the visitation feast is transferred to Bright Friday. Celebration of the feast of the visitation has not yet been accepted by all orthodox jurisdictions. In Syriac Christianity the Feast of the Visitation is celebrated on the third Sunday in the season of announcements prior to Christmas. See also Church of the Visitation Order of the Visitation of Holy Mary References Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Media related to visitation, Bible at Wikimedia Commons. The meeting of the Mother of God and Saint Elizabeth, Orthodox icon and Synaxarian.